If you have been following me on TikTok or Instagram, then you'll know that I am currently painting every single country in the world. And I'm using Google Earth to do that because obviously I can't get out of my house too much right now with everything that's going on in the world. But the less said about that, the better. So in today's video, I thought I would show you some of the things that I've learned along the way when it comes to using Google Earth as an art reference. It's really helpful for artists, especially when you can't get out and about too much right now. But there are definitely a few things you need to know before you get started. Otherwise, you might just spend a lot of time wandering around weird places and not finding anything helpful, which has definitely happened to me a few times. So here are some of the things that I've learned along the way. I'm going to be looking around Croatia and seeing what I can find to paint and talking about some of the things that I'm looking for when I'm trying to find a reference on Google Earth. If you're interested in using it for your own art, then keep watching. So first of all, I'm just going to open Google Earth. That's here. Okay, so today I'm looking at Croatia. So Google Earth also offers the, these little helpful hints and you can scroll through and I usually just look at these and see if there's anything that looks interesting to start off with. So this national park seems quite interesting so I'm just going to click on that. Now the most important thing, the thing that I do all the time is press that little man icon there and this will take you into the street view mode. So if you zoom out, you can see all the different areas that are highlighted in, in blue are either 360 photos or they're actually street view. So let's just have a look and see what we can see. So already this is pretty cool. So 360 photo looks like a waterfall. I actually think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Don't usually get this lucky on my first try. But I'm kind of looking around, oh, looking around and I don't know if there's necessarily an amazing composition jumping out at me. Maybe that could be nice, but I think we can do better. So I'll just go back and again, click this little man. Now, usually the roads aren't actually that great, so I tend to avoid them. I'll just show you quickly. Because obviously street view is famous for the view of streets, but usually the streets provided by Google are a bit, well, they're just a road. So, I mean, you can get some amazing things, but it's more likely that you'll find something interesting once you click on the 360 photos. Um. Okay, I'm going to go back to this little section and just see. I've heard that Split is a cool place, so let's have a look there. Again, tap the little man icon. And in cities, you obviously have so much more choice because a lot of people are always submitting photos. So I can see there's a beach there. there. Seems to be lots of photos in here. I don't know, let's have a look. Okay, I'm gonna click the little man again. You also have to be careful if you have countries where the borders kind of overlap quite. I mean, I've zoomed a bit too far out now and there I'm looking in all these different countries. I guess if you're not doing a project like mine, it probably doesn't matter as much, but I always have to be careful that I'm not accidentally going over the border because that would be bad. Just keep clicking. There's lots of clicking involved. Okay. I think this is one I had earlier, but I think I've realized that it, I like it. I like how the composition is sort of like this, like an S. 
um, sort of these are sort of the things that you want to look for so curving shapes like this another good thing to look for is if there's a dark bit contrasting nicely against the light bit so I really like here how these people are contrasted against the lightest part of the water and then also this part here just sort of leads your eye across the painting so you really want to just look for these compositional things and a lot of and a lot of it is just your your instinct and you'll probably just almost feel it without having to have studied lots of things about composition you can almost just get a sense when you found something interesting so yeah i think i'm gonna paint this one so the next thing i do after i've found a scene that i really like is i save it to my images because it's quite easy to lose these things in google earth especially if you're looking in an area that has lots of photos it's very easy to lose the perfect scene that you found so i just use my apple pencil to screenshot this so you just drag it up this is a little trick drag it up from the corner and then you can just save it to your files so i just save it to my files Croatia, and then i have it there and then i don't have to worry about losing it which is quite important okay Thank you so much for watching hopefully that was helpful and hopefully it's inspired you to use google earth in your own art here's the final painting if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button i'll be posting new videos every week and if there's anything that you want to see from me then just let me know in the comment section down below from then out good